What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be counting all of my WWE action figures. <laughs> So a couple weeks ago, guys, I uploaded a video about all of my WWE figure belts and how many I had of each and, you know, how many total belts that I had. And so the idea popped in my head. I do not know how many WWE figures I actually have. If you include all of the basics, all of the parts I have here, uh, the fodder boxes, the Cena's, all these boxes here, all of my Ballards, all of my referees and stuff, and, of course, the crowd and including those figures up there. We're going to go through, you know, each section. I'm going to say, you know, this is how many we have, and I'll pop up the uh, number on the screen for you guys so you guys can follow along. And then at the very end, I will reveal, you know, how many total figures that I do have in my collection. It's kind of overwhelming a little bit to see, and uh, hopefully we're going to, you know, find out together. I'm going to go ahead and make a bold prediction before we even start. I'm, I'm going to just go with, like, 746. I'm going with 746 figures, uh, give or take. If I nail the number, I'll do a freaking giveaway. If I do get the 746, you heard it here right now. 746, if I have the exact number, I will do a giveaway. I guess we'll have to see at the end of the video if I am correct. But uh, as you can see, we do have a, quite a number to go through, guys. So let's go ahead and start off with these up here. Before we get going, guys, I want to go ahead and tell you to leave your predictions down in the comment section below. How many total figures do you think I have? I think it'll be a fun little game to play out of all of these here, all those up there, all these in the boxes, all the fins, all the stuff, all the crowd, all these over here. Go ahead, comment your predictions down below, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so starting out with this top shelf right here. This is mostly Vindic or not Vindication, MDT Live's roster. You see the champions right here, John Cena, Shelton Benjamin, Bob. Bobby Lashley. The tag champions are the Shield, but they are not on the shelf. They're on their own individual shelves. But uh, we just have a bunch of random figures up here as well. So uh, the total number that we have on this shelf is 29 figures. So on this first shelf, our first row we have right here is 29. If we move down a row from the top row right there, guys, this is row number two on my notes. And this is mostly Vindication's roster. You see the Bullet Club right here. We got the Elite Champion Kenny Omega, Aleister Black, Iron Man Champion Drew McIntyre, The Miz, The Revival. We got Rusev, The Wyatt Colt, and a bunch of other guys. So we got the Vindication roster shelf right here. And for this shelf, our total number is just like the row above it, guys. It is actually 29. So there are 29 on both of these uh, rows right here. And that's pretty crazy. I had no idea. I guess you can kind of tell how they're all lined up there. The same amount of figures fits on both, but that's not the case over there. I have a lot more on some shelves than others. But over here, both of these came up to the number 29. All right, guys, so now that we have covered these two rows, we're going to move on to these rows right here, the rows on the left side of the middle portion right here. We're going to go from this uh, top shelf all the way down on this left side. Then we'll move probably to this middle one, and then we'll go to this one before we move on. So we're going to start out over here at the very top. So over here, guys, we have guys like Daniel Bryan, Goldberg, MVP, Ryback, and R-Truth. I just try to keep my multiples all together here. But on this top shelf, we only have 10 figures, so it's not too many here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, as you see it right there. Moving down, we do have the Alitas right here, and that is uh, the Macho Man's Big Shows and Gold Dust. So that makes 3, 6, 8, 11 on this one. So these two together equals 21. All right, guys, so I guess we'll call this left sections rows 1 and 2. So if we go down, we have left sections 3 and 4 that we're going to combine here together. On this shelf, we do have the clubs. We got American Alpha, so two tag teams on that one. You see 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 on that shelf. And then moving down, we have Bobby Roode, Zack Ryder, Cesaro, and Samoa Joe. So if this one counted out to be 12, then this one right here is 3, 6, 9, 11. So 11 plus 12 is 23. So 23 total between left section 3 and 4. Moving down, ladies and gentlemen, we have rows 5 and 6 of the left section. We got Shinsuke Nakamura, Braun Strowman, Neville, Trash Corbin, Brock Lesnar, and Sting. So counting row number 5, we have 3, 6, 9, 12 figures. And on this row, we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 23 between rows 5 and 6. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on into the middle section, a.k.a. the John Cena shelves, Randy Orton, Triple H, and Seth Rollins. So we got to start at the very top with the John Cena's. And uh, I went ahead and marked it as just the John Cena's on the shelf because we have our John Cena's on the shelf section, and then we have our John Cena's in the box section that we're going to also have to go through in a moment. So uh, I guess we'll go ahead and count up all of these John Cena's, and I will let you guys know how many are up on here on the shelf. So the magic number of John Cena's up on the shelf right here, guys, is 49. So you have 49 John Cena's on the shelf, not including the box that we still have to go through, and then I guess you can add the little armband in there, but that is not a figure, so we're not going to count that. So there's 49 John Cena's, and we are moving on to the Randy Orton's. So next up, ladies and gentlemen, we do have the Viper Legend Killer himself, Randy Orton shelf right here. We have them all lined up across. They don't go over multiple rows. It is just this one section, just like Triple H and Seth Rollins. They take up their whole one row, you know, not multiple rows like Cena up there. But uh, going ahead, we're going to go ahead and count up all of these Ortons that we have up here. So after counting it up, guys, we have 27 Vipers, 27 Legend Killers, 27 RKOs right here with Randy Orton on the Randy Orton shelf. So now that we have gotten the Viper and Mr. Cena taken care of, guys, we are moving on to the game shelf. So just like Randy Orton, guys, Triple H does have his own shelf. Just one row going all the way across. He is... Uh, Fortunate enough, like Seth Rollins and Randy Orton, to take up his own entire row here. So let's go ahead and count them out. So the count is in, guys, and we have 30 Triple H's here on the Triple H shelf. Pretty amazing that we got 30 of those big body Triple H elites up on the shelf. But now that we have done Triple H, guys, we are moving on to the man, the architect, Seth freaking Rollins. So guys, on this shelf right here, we do have 33 architects up on this little shelf right here and I'm gonna go ahead and say 35 because I'm gonna go ahead and count this Seth Rollins and Michael Cole that I'm currently working on right now on my custom bench I have to go ahead and count that so uh, that is gonna be 35 total going down on the paper counter alright guys we are moving on to the right section at the top we got all of the Roman Reigns and the CM Punks so uh, we gotta count the big dog and then we will count CM Punk and add it together so we have a total number of 18 big dogs and 8 CM Punks. I would have way more CM Punks guys, but they're so expensive. They're so hard to track down. I am trying to just complete all of them. I, I really don't really want that many customs. There are a few attires I want, but for the most part with CM Punk, I got to track down all the elites made by Mattel. But uh, yeah, the big dog is outweighing CM Punk here, and we have 26 total on this top row. Going down to our second row, guys, we have Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock, two of the greatest to ever perform in the squared circle. We do have quite the number of Stone Colds and quite the number of Rocks, so I wouldn't be surprised if we cracked 30 here on this row, but the only way to do so is to find out and count them. So counting them up, guys, we do have 19 total Rock Elites and we do have 14 Stone Colds, bringing the total on this row to 33. So we did crack 30 like I expected. Uh, seven more than that top row, so that's pretty insane. I did not realize I had more Rocks than Stone Colds until doing this countdown, so we're moving down to the next row. So in this section, we do have the Canes, the Edges, and the Rey Mysterio, you know, three of my favorite guys growing up here. So uh, with Canes, there's really not that many. With Edge, there's a little bit, and then with Rey Mysterio, there's more. I would be surprised if we didn't crack 20 here. There's definitely 20, so let's go ahead and see. So it came down to seven Canes, eight Edges, and 13 Mysterios, bringing the total number on this shelf 228. Pretty surprising there. I did not think they would get near to 30, but it did, guys. So 28 on this row, and we are moving on. So in this next row, we have Kurt Angle, Sami Zayn, Matt Hardy, and HBK. Four very, very talented guys in the ring here, but um, this is our first uh, row on this section with four different superstars. So starting off with Kurt Angle, guys, we actually do have to count this one down here because I'm making a custom currently, so we do have to include that one in the countdown, so uh, I guess there will be six angles instead of five, so i got to take that into account. Adding in the other six Sami Zayn's here, that makes a total of 12. We have 10 Matt Hardys and then 9 HBK's, bringing the total on this row 
to 31. So 31 on this row. Very surprising. Again, I did not think there were 30 figures on here. That big whopping 10 from Matt Hardy. Didn't expect that either, but I guess, you know, if you look at it, there is 10 there. And 9 HBKs. Didn't really think about that. I thought I had like 6 or something, but apparently I can't count. So we're moving on to the Jericho shelf. So on the Jericho shelf, guys, we only have Chris Jericho and his best friend in the world, Kevin Owens. If you saw my video from a few days ago, we did add a ton of Kevin Owens to the collection, so that will definitely increase that number. We do have many more on the way as well, so uh, we're definitely going to have to move the Kevin Owens to a different shelf. But on this one, we do have a total of 14 Y2Js and 17 Kevin Owens, bringing the total to 31. So not only 31 on the shelf above, but 31 on this next one. So going down to our final row on the right section right here, guys, we do have quite a number of superstars. I grouped all of the New Day together, so Kofi, Big E, and Xavier are all together there. We have all the Ambroses here in the middle, and then we have a small Batista section, and then we have a bunch of other guys like Elias, Ciampa, Leo Rush, uh, Cedric Alexander, and then three little Benoits right there. So we'll go ahead and count this up. So our last shelf right here, guys, does have 33 total figures on it, and right before I recorded this video, the shelf actually fell. I guess too many uh, figures on there. You know, you got five Batistas, you know, weighing that hoe down there. But uh, if you want to specify, we have 11 New Day figures, five Kofis, three Big E's, and three Xavier Woods. We have 10 Dean Ambroses, five Batistas, and then seven others over here. I guess three Chris Benoit's if you want to get crazy. But we have now covered the entire you know, left, middle, and right sections, and now we are going to move on to the John Cena box. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after counting up the entire Cena box, taking every figure out and counting it and then recounting it, it came out to a total of 39 total John Cena's. So if you take those right there and pair them with those up there, that is a ton of John Cena figures, guys. And I guess we'll find out at the end how many total Cena's we have. But 39 is the number for the Cena box. So now we're going to move on from the Cena box into random box number one. This is a bunch of figures, you know, that are just random basics, random jacks, random elites, guys. They're still going to count towards the total. If they're missing a head or arm, I'm still going to count it just because I have fodder boxes that have heads, arms, and stuff. So I could plug in arms and heads and stuff and count them as figures. So I'm still going to count those. But uh, let's find out how many we got. So in random box number one, guys, we have a total of 44 figures. My goodness, I had no idea that it would get that high. I thought it would be like no more than like 25 but 44 in random box number one, and we're going on to random box number two, and we're going to see how many are in there. So in random box number two, guys, we had 49 freaking figures, if you guys can believe that. 49 figures in there and 44 over there. I don't know how the crap that 49 figures fit in there, but there are 49 figures in there. So after those two random boxes, we are moving on to random box number three, which doesn't look like it has that many, but let's go ahead and count it up. So 17 total in random box number three. I figured it would be way lower, guys. You can see the difference in mass, you know. So 17 over here in this one, and we're moving on to the fourth and final random box of figures that we have right here. So in our fourth and final random box, we had 36 total figures, guys. So we are finally done with all four of the random boxes and we are moving on to our small little Balor collection. And by small Balor collection guys, I don't really mean that small because coming in we have 22 Finn Balor figures right here and it looks like 21 of them are demon or mutant right here. So the only unpainted Elite Balor we have is this front one right here. And uh, this Balor collection looks pretty sweet. I want to get another shelf, you know, so I can add it. Um, I'm probably thinking behind the TV or something in this little area right here so I can get all these guys on display because them over here in this section just looks terrible. Need them up on the wall, you know, need them to, you know, sit there and look good like the rest of the collection there. But we have 20 through Balor's. 22 battlers and we are moving on so this should be pretty easy guys we have four guys right here we have eric bischoff and three referees so the total back here is just the number four so we move on from the backstage area guys and now we are over here in this section we have the dolph zigglers and jeff hardy's we're going to count up that entire row starting out with the zigglers right here so the total number of zigglers guys is 21 if you can actually believe that we have more finn ballers than we do dolph zigglers if you see all the customs right here looking beautiful with those 
bright colored tights right there with zebra print. But over here we have all the Jeff Hardys and the Jeff Hardys come in at 11 guys. So that makes a total number of 32 for this top row. And now we're going to go on and count the AJ Styles and the Undertakers. So coming in on the shelf guys, we have a total number of 27 figures. We have 19 Takers, 19 Dead Men right here guys, all the way through his career. I am missing, I think, one or two elites here, but for the most part, this is all of them here. A couple customs in there, but on AJ Styles, we only have eight, so that makes a total of 27, and now that we have covered all of the rows on the walls, guys, we are finally down to our last thing to count, and that is the entire MBT arena, all these figures here in the crowd, including the announce table area, and I guess then I can tally it all up and see what our total number of figures in my collection is. So the total number of members in the MDT crowd, obviously if you don't count all of the millions and millions of fan watching and fans watching at home, and you don't include the thousands that are here in attendance every single week, there are 98 members of the front row slash second row of the crowd right here in the MDT arena. I did not realize there were that many. I mean, if you stand back and look, you're like, yeah, it's probably like 50 or so. No, ladies and gentlemen, it is 98. I did recount it two or three times to make sure that is the number. So now we have every single figure counted, guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and tally it all up and see what our total number is. All right, guys, I have counted up, and my prediction was uh, wrong. We did not make it. Actually, we did make it. We surpassed it, and the total number of figures in my entire collection is 816. I'm actually surprised, but uh, then again, the last time I counted was like 600-something, so I guess figures have just been coming in, you know, over the border. I haven't really noticed them, and they have snuck into the population, and I haven't, you know, taken note of it, but now I know we have 816 total figures, and I actually did some stats so over here I wrote down all of them uh, you see the total number right there 816 and then over here we have some stats of you know each individual guy I have multiple of leading the way is John Cena with 89 total John Cena's which is freaking ridiculous Seth Rollins at number two at 34 I mean you can see here on the list, you know, how many I have of each guy. If you want to pause it, I stopped at Kane. You know, there are a few other notables. I mean, Tista has five, and Brock has five, and, you know, there's a few other guys that have, you know, quite the number of figures in the collection here, but here's just a nice little uh, number if you want to take account for it. And, uh, yeah, guys, that pretty much does it for this video. We did count every single figure in my collection on the wall in the random boxes over here, so I am glad to know how many figures I actually have. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure related videos. I do apologize that we overshot, you know, the giveaway number, but uh, it's all good. We'll have a giveaway coming very soon, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.